Hey, how's it going guys? Mixed Personality here with my first ever Minecraft command block tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a working Bedwars Fireball in the 1.16 version of Minecraft Java Edition. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to catch even more amazing creations and tutorials. It's free and it helps me out a ton. You can always unsubscribe if you want to. Anyways, let's get right into the video. So I looked around the internet for a while on how to do this because I was curious myself. But I couldn't find a tutorial that worked in the latest version of the game or didn't work like this one. It's pretty long, but it's worth it. So yeah, you can see. You can even do stuff like ricochet shots. I wasn't satisfied with that method, so I decided instead to make my own design, and here's what I came up with. As you can see, clicking with the fireball in my hand shoots a flying fireball in the direction I'm facing. But wait, there's more. When the fireball collides with a block, it explodes. Now this will work in all versions of 1.16 as well, but I haven't tested it for earlier versions yet, so I'll check on that and maybe post another video if I figure that out. If you need help with the commands or you need reference at all, all of them are down in the description because I'll be going relatively fast and just sort of showing off what all the commands do and in what order you need to have them. So those are all going to be down in the description. You can just copy paste and follow along. All right, so the first command we're going to want to do is to give ourselves a command block. So we're going to do slash give at s command block like so. And boom, we have a command block. All right, so step one done. Now this first command that we're going to do for the actual fireballs does not use a command block. So you're going to want to type this into chats and we're going to add a scoreboard so we're gonna add slash scoreboard objectives add and then you can name this whatever you want it does not matter I'm gonna call mine fireball underscore use but you can name yours whatever you want you can name it pink unicorns and it doesn't matter so um scoreboard objectives add fireball use your your name there now this part is important you're gonna want to type minecraft dot used colon oh my minecraft I cannot type today dot carrot underscore on a stick just like that and then you're going to want to hit create and it'll say created new objective fireball underscore use so great now that that's out of the way we can start with our command blocks we're going to place our first command block facing up we need to make sure that the arrow is facing upward when they do this because we're going to have some chain command blocks going off of it so in this command block we're going to want to type execute as at a and then we're going to want to type in scores equals and then a curly nope curly bracket and then the name of our scoreboard which is fireball underscore use in my case and then we're going to want to equals one and uh, curly bracket comma nbt equals then another curly bracket now this is important selected item you need to make sure that all your capitalizations are the same as mine if you're typing them in and not copy pasting them because it is important uh, colon curly bracket ID colon quotation mark minecraft colon fire underscore charge and quotation mark and curly bracket and curly bracket and end regular bracket and that should light up blue if all the syntaxes are correct if it's not you did something wrong all right now we have at at s anchored eyes ah i cannot spell run summon then we're going to want to summon an armor stand now we're going to use carrots for this so that's a uh, shift six for anyone who doesn't know how to use a carrot so that's shift six carrot carrot and we're going to type in 80 after this carrot and basically what these do is they summon it relative to the player's facing position so this with what i just typed here summons it 80 blocks away from where the player is looking then we're going to want to add a little bit of nbt to the armor stand we're going to want to add no gravity and set that to one and we're also going to want to add invisible and set it to one and then put it in curly bracket just like so now we are done with this command block so we need to put it on repeat and always active and boom done command block one out of nine all right 
next command block you're going to want to place on top of it. The arrows both need to be facing up or else this chain will not work. So that's really important. And then this next command block you're going to want to type execute as at a bracket scores equals curly bracket fireball whoops underscore use again this is whatever you named your whatever you named your scoreboard goes there whenever we do the scores thing um equals one and curly bracket comma nbt equals then we need another curly bracket selected item colon curly bracket id colon quotation mark minecraft colon fire underscore charge so this is basically the same thing as what we did in the last command block and quotation mark and curly bracket two times and a end regular bracket at at s anchored eyes again run summon fireball then we're going to want to use carrots again carrot 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 one then we're going to want to add some nbt to this fireball so this one the nbt we're going to add is motion actually and then we're going to want to put a, a colon and a bracket and then we're going to put 0, 0.0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0, 0.0 basically this will summon a um a fireball that's ever so slightly moving upwards barely so it's barely noticeable when that happens now we're also going to want to add explosion power and set that to about three so that's like sort of the damage radius of the fireball is the best way i can put it um so if you want like a huge massive fiery explosion you could put it at like 15 or something but if you want a more realistic bed wars fireball i always put it at three just because i think that that recreates it the best then you're going to put an end curly bracket and then on this command block, you're going to want to put this as a chain, conditional, and an always active, just like so. Now, on top of this chain, on top of this chain command block, you're going to want to put another command block, again, arrow facing upward, just like the one before. And then here, we're going to put scoreboard, players, reset, at A, and then the name of your scoreboard right here, and whatever you named it is going to go there. Now, this is going to be a chain and conditional and always active as well. And congratulations. We are one third of the way done through the fireballs with these three command blocks. Now we're going to place this one here. And in this command block, we're going to put execute unless entity at A. And then we're going to put a bracket NBT equals uh, selected item. Then we're going to want to put another. Oh wait, I forgot a uh, I forgot a curly bracket right before a selected item. Uh, selected item colon id id d the colon quotation mark fire charge. Then we're gonna put an end quote at two end curly brackets and an end regular bracket. Oh wait, I forgot. You gotta put uh, Minecraft Fire Charge. Oh, that was it. I forgot a colon right there. Okay, so this is the proper string right here. I screwed up the colon right after selected item, but I fix that now. Um, now we have that. If Entity at a, now we're gonna put scores equals curly bracket again, and then the name of your scoreboard equals one dot dot. So the two dot dots just mean like one or greater kind of thing, uh, which is nice. Then we're gonna want to put a and curly bracket and an end regular bracket run scoreboard players reset at a and then the name of your scoreboard basically what this does is it spam proofs the fireball 
So if you are spamming the fireball and somehow it manages to bug out and pass one on your scoreboard, this just is sort of a double thing that will put it back and reset it if it's above one if you spam it out and break it. So we're going to put that on repeat and always active like I did there. And so done. Four command blocks done. Next command block you're going to want to do is execute as at a or at e sorry type equals minecraft fireball and bracket at at s facing entity at e type equals armor stand okay then we're going to want a end bracket right there eyes so basically this will set the fireball to face the armor stand in the eyes then we're going to want to put run tp oh i forgot a space run tp at s bracket or carrot 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 one so this just teleports it forward one block relative to the position of the fireball in the direction of the armor stand. So we're going to put this on a repeat and an always active. All right, five command blocks done. Next one, execute if entity at E type equals fireball. You don't have to put the Minecraft when you're typing it because you can autofill it if you want, but in the end it has to read Minecraft fireball. As at E type equals fireball again at at S unless block tilde 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 air run kill at E type equals armor stand so end bracket so what this does is basically it detects if the block that the fireball is in is air or not so if it's not in air it will kill its target so that it doesn't stop so that it stops moving forward and explodes where it hits the block instead of sort of just phasing through the block now we're going to need to put this on a repeat always active so, we're almost there. We have just a few more command blocks to go. This one needs to be execute as at E type equals fireball at at S. Oh, I forgot the end bracket. End bracket at at S run data merge entity at s then we're going to want to put our data in the back that we want so the data that needs to constantly be updated is the motion tag so to do that we curly bracket motion bracket 0, 0.0 comma 0. Point, or comma negative 0. 0.1 comma 0. 0.0 so basically what that does is it ever so slightly moves the fireball downwards but that's what registers with it colliding a block so in that tutorial example I showed you at the beginning of the video, that's what makes it blow up is the is the motion that is already happening, which makes it really difficult to do these sorts of things because at the time, I guess nobody knew how to constantly modify the, or thought to at least constantly modify the, the data of the actual fireball. So we need to put an end bracket and an end curly bracket just like that. And then this needs to be on a repeat and an always active, just like so. Now we only have two more command blocks to go. So we need to go here in this command block. So this one needs to be, it's important that this one's facing up because this one is gonna have a chain on top of it too, just like the last one. So this is gonna be execute as at E, whoops, at E type equals fireball whoops fireball and bracket at at s if entity at e 
type equals armor stand, comma, limit equals one, or not limit, sorry, distance equals dot dot two, bend bracket, run, kill, at S. So what this, at S, what this does is it detects if the armor stand reaches the end of its 80 block range, and it'll kill it if it reaches the end of the range, so it doesn't just go on forever, because it can't. It would just sort of get stuck in air by the armor stand, so what it does is it'll kill the fireball once it reaches that point. This needs to be on a repeat and an always active. And then we're on our last command block, so if you guys have made it this far, congratulations. This last command block is going to be really simple, it's just kill at E type equals armor stand. Just so simple. Just so easy. And this is going to be a chain conditional, always active. Just like so. And boom, that's it. That's all the command blocks that there is. So now what we're going to want to do is get ourselves a carrot on a stick and a fire charge. We need to put the carrot in the stick in our offhand so that it sort of overwrites the fireball clicking. And then, boom! Just like that, you have a working fireball. Now, if you want to mute this chat spam, you're going to want to type slash game rule command block output false. And then I'm just going to clear chat so it sort of gets rid of that. And now, when I shoot the fireball, there's no chat spam. And it's, it's not the smoothest animation, but at least you don't have to, like, place the fireball and hit it. And it goes where you aim. Like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna aim for... This little tower. Right here. Top block of this tower. Boom. Gone. Now, let's see how this fares against a bridge. So, a wool bridge, just like in Bed Wars. I'll build that, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here is our bridge. Now, we're gonna shoot at the bridge. Boom! It just gets destroyed. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Whatever. It'll despawn once it touches its armor stand, which is the end of its range. Now, you can actually customize the range. So, in this command block right here, this doesn't actually have to be an 80. It can be whatever you want. But I recommend that your range is less or equal to your render distance because you don't want this armor stand going out of your render distance or else it'll sort of just break the whole thing. So make sure you think about it. 16 blocks per chunk times your render distance. So make sure that is equal to or greater than this number in the command block. But mine's set to 80 right now just cause. And I can just shoot, I can shoot this all day. However, you're going to want to be careful not to spam. That's something I forgot about. Um, You cannot spam this really well, or else here's what happens. You sort of launch out the fireballs, and at one point, one of them, they'll all end up going to the same place, because it's, look, I can shoot them all over there, but they'll all end up going to the same place. And then if one gets there before the when the armor stand disappears, the rest of them just sort of slowly sink into the ground, so it's not very effective for spamming multiple at once, but if you sort of just want a throwable projectile, you've got it. It's right here. And there you have it, a working Bedwars fireball in your own Minecraft world. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, make sure to leave a like down below and also consider subscribing to the channel like I said in the beginning. It really helps me out. If you want to see more command block tutorials, go ahead and leave, a com leave me a comment down below so I can see what exactly it is you would like to know how to do in your own world. That's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.